Well, by the amount of three quarter ton trucks in the parking lot, I believe we are in the right place. Welcome to the National Farm Machinery Show. <laughs> Robert. A lot different than the 9400 for sure. I do like the cab though. Got that new we just need that luxury cab on our 9400 yeah. and we'd be set to go. New cab smell. Check out the old 4455 guys. That's more our style. I'd hate to have to clean it. <laughs> Let me sit in the seat. Uh, I like the little mark they got on the, you see the header there? To center it? Yeah. That's why we need to do ours. Showing up. Got plenty of cup holders. See, you ain't that, well, I think the buddy seat on the 9400. If you, uh, if you buy this thing, you're going to be doing lots of drinking, figuring out how you pay for it. I think that radio is probably nicer than what's in my pickup. Twin rotor. <laughs> Look how long that belt is that runs the unloading all your... Yeah, I mean, all the belts are out here in the open. Got all this new equipment over here looking at 1990s model stuff. Uh, that, that tractor in black does look good. Get up here in this red one so that y'all red guys can't whine and cry that I'm biased towards deer. Let y'all look in the red cab. 555 quad track, I think. They got her flexed out up here. Got her drove up on the ramp on a bit of an incline. Robert's been over here observing this air cedar. What do you think about it? Well, it's a lot easier to work on than the 15, 15 it sure does, a lot more open. How hard is that depth adjustment? That ain't bad. You'd have to make sure them springs stay in good condition, though. What's that? I think it says something about like active downpours. Yeah, because that's the wire going down. It's going down there into the pan to measure how much pressure on the yeah. downpours. Got a good set of cutters on it. Got a good set of cutters. Put some of them Nato Mag spiky wheels on it and they, they say it. I'll tell you what, I like these massy tractors. They're some nice looking tractors. You ain't got that big old Squidworth hood on it, like a case. That's a slick, slick cow, very uncluttered. I tell you what, I like this cow. It seats this good. The S97. S97. Hey, look at the paint scheme. They yeah, like the old That's cool. 
What's all the buttons on the on the on the silver cedar here? Surely the goodness you can do that in the cab too, can't you? Think about these old blenders. You can get up here to the back of the rotor and work on the rotor. Got your accelerator rolls down there. Throws it down there at twice the speed of gravity from what I've been told. Ain't these the ones that's got the seven cylinder engines? It's got the natural flow cropping system, Robert. Natural flow. Because everybody knows that coming in, coming in straight and then going sideways and then coming back out is the natural flow. Built in cams. I like how simple the grain tank is. They got one auger in the bottom and it goes straight into the other auger. National Farm Machinery Show and welcome to the Galena Game Show where we're celebrating our centennial by determining if you have harvest in your house we're, we're going to try to get you hooked up with the Gleaner girl going to win pretty, pretty a scale fashion. model <laughs> I don't think so you can get that can pump at uh co-op <laughs> no you ain't gonna get back you ain't just gonna order that one out of the blue well, one thing about it you shouldn't have to worry about working underneath it and banging your head <laughs> that is a fence Roll gator sprayer with a built in lift kit. Pretty awesome machine. You can see it going up and down there. We was, uh, last year we was pretty impressed with the case sprayer. Now this year <laughs> we're uh, even more impressed with this one. We saw a brand new one running at home uh, with a fertilized bed on it. What about the old Apache, Robert? Is it simple? Yeah. Simple, simple is good. It's four wheel steer. Does it, he uses hydraulic cylinders to lift up and got accumulators in it. I'll tell you one thing, one reason I wouldn't buy this sprayer. You see that mirror up there? I got in and wanked the crap out of my head. and Now I got a freaking headache, dude. This is that high clearance Apache sprayer. It looks like uh, high clearance is gonna be the wave of the future in spraying technology. There's the older style Apache sprayers. Know nothing about them. And the greatest fender knob. It's got a heck of a cab, a heck of a hood. Must be a lot of stuff up underneath there. Must be a lot of ponies in there. there. I don't want, but that darn mirror, I'm about missing a head because of it. Got them big LSW tires on it. These versatiles, I think, is about to coolest looking tractors, meanest looking tractors they are here. I like that retro retro paint scheme. Robert's waiting for the days they put the yellow tops back on the John Deere combines. High speed disc. Everybody's coming out with high speed disc now. You have to have a set of remotes to light it up here, check up and down. Well, would you want to crank on the jack to raise that thing up and down? Robert said he liked the little one right here. A little 210, that's about the right size for our farm. Is this the original J&M Gravity Wagon? I 
ain't been changed much in the past hundred years, have I? That's just something you don't say every day. Dragon 4640, pull it. Might get in that fuel pump a little. Add a little weight and he'll pull it. Tell them your methodology for finding the seat at the farm machinery show, Robert. You found those tractors people don't care much about. <laughs> and then you find sit in a luxurious cab. There's absolutely nothing shabby about this cab. I run a, this joints. I would run it. I know my back sure does appreciate this nice seat. Let's take a look around the Dewitt's far cab. Got a 12 inch TV. You got this, you got your handle with machine functions, throttle, PTO, joystick for your loader. Ain't nothing wrong with this cab a bit. Luxurious sunroof, AM, FM, radio, I mean, just about anything you would need. I'm really liking that McFarland inside over there. It's got a got like a set of turbo-tilt blades and then a do-all chopper and then another set of turbo-tilt blades and rolling baskets. Just need one of those in about an 18 or a 20 foot. Well, what did you think about the uh, 2023 National Farm Machinery Show, Robert? I've enjoyed it so far. I have too. We got to go back tomorrow. We, we only got through the big uh, room Today. This is, I think this is the first time I've never walked the show all in one day. I mean, we could have, but Robert and I were tired and we was, but I kept track of the people we met today and there was uh, 21 people that recognized us and uh, talked with us from our YouTube channel. I enjoyed talking to all y'all and uh, Glad you recognized us last year. Half a mile. Keep left to stay on I-264 East. Last year when we was here, we had three people recognize us, and this year we had 21. So I feel like our channel's gaining some reach, and uh, that excites me. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you that come up and talk to me and shook my hand, and it uh, Keep meant left a lot. To stay on I We'll bring y'all back uh, to the farm show again tomorrow and uh, see what, uh, see what. one and a half miles, use the right two lanes to take exit 20 for US 60 West towards St. Matthews. Now, she, now I got all the way over here and now she wants me. But uh, I appreciate each and every one of you that talked to us and uh, we're going back to the farm show tomorrow. I don't know if we'll film anything tomorrow. We'll be visiting a lot of the smaller booths tomorrow, and uh, maybe I'll run into you tomorrow. See, see how many people we meet tomorrow. That's right. We met 21 people today, so I, I still can't get over that. I, that was that just tickled me to death. See you tomorrow. Home sweet home. For the next two days, that is. It's time to turn on some good, high-quality uh, TV. Reckon what them Joyce boys is doing. It's the wave of the future, Robert. Should have bought a fleet of drones instead of 4630. Probably cost as much as 40,000, I think. One of them deals you can take a round bale and feed into a square baler and make square bales out of a round bale. Because you can, you can round bale a lot faster than you can square bale and you can break them round bales up in the winter. Not much difference in them copper heads and yetters other than the yetters have got a twist. That's the name Twister. Planter attachments have become a really big deal the past couple of years. I would like to have clean sweep on mine someday. I always like these land all drills. Pneumatic down force. You got your D 
disc openers and you got them to keep blowing your sidewall out on your sea trench. And then them, them wheels cast her and follow, follow the contour of the ground. It's ground drive somehow or another, ain't it? Yeah, right there. Comes off the wheel and up. I got an air, air cylinder to disengage the clutch. It'd be cool to demo one. I wonder if I got a 20 foot model. Overflow tank for your coolant. 7800 had one of them on there. She's all original. <laughs> Say goodbye to the cleaners, Robert. So I'm finishing editing our uh, Farm Machinery Show video. What was your favorite part of the Farm Show this year, Robert? Uh, probably the 44 55 and then getting to meet everybody and talk to them. Our final tally of people we met was 27 people. Now, they might have been in groups of two or three, but I thought 27 people was still a lot of people to meet. And yeah. Oh, yeah. We was glad to meet you and uh, yeah. put a name with a face. <clears throat> a lot of people said they comment and some didn't, but putting uh, final touches on this video, I uh, hope you enjoy it, and I appreciate you watching. Hopefully come back again next year. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Next weekend, we'll be at the gym show in Memphis. If you see us there, say hello. Yep, next week, Mid-South Farm and Gin Show, Memphis, Tennessee. Home of Jerry the King Lawler and Elvis Presley. <laughs>